Jota presents that fucking card, which is a terrible trick and a massively dishonest trailer. First of all, it says here, the first card effect that doesn't need cards. Well, you have to put the gimmick inside the cellophane of a deck of cards and you have to pretend that you've made your prediction whilst holding a pack of cards. So no, you might not need to actually use the playing cards, but let's be honest, you have to have a pack of cards with you. The other thing is, in this opening bit, they say to you that the deck of cards is placed on the table and then you, with free hands, pick the cards up, turn them round and show the prediction. Which is kind of true, other than they're missing the part where you have to fanny around with the deck for about anything up to a minute in order to get the prediction correct because the gimmick is so terrible. If they were really honest about this, they would say, a deck of cards is placed on the table in front of you. The spectator names a card, and with empty hands, you pick up the deck. Stare blankly at the deck for 30 seconds, twiddling with your thumbs for no apparent reason while you desperately try to make the gimmick work, probably licking your fingers as well because that's the only thing that might possibly help, and even then, it's going to be an absolute pain in the ass to do until you eventually get the right situation where you turn the deck round and show that you have a prediction. The other thing is, notice that every single time they show a prediction, they do a jump cut to a close-up of the deck. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think that what we have there is the actual gimmick. It's not the sort of gimmick you want to show that clearly in any performing situation. I might be wrong, but I don't think I am. Either way, this trick is really flawed, because what's happening is you're doing the move at the exact time that the spectators and the audience are staring at you. You have a card name, the deck is picked up. As soon as the card's name, the focus is on you, and that's when you have to do the move. The routining behind this is all wrong, and the gimmick is substandard at best. Then we have the live performance to this lady here with the blonde hair who wins an award when it comes to the worst fake reaction in magic of all time. This reaction just absolutely sucks balls. You can plainly see from a mile off she's acting. And notice he asks her to name a card and she says seven of diamonds. Just so you guys know, if they name a seven, you pretty much have to do nothing with the gimmick in order to turn it round and show you're correct. Because the gimmick is already on seven to begin with. Isn't it fortunate that she named the seven of diamonds, which meant that Jota didn't have to do anything and could just pick up the deck and turn it around with no fannying around of the prediction or the gimmick at all. It's almost like she was told to say seven of diamonds from the beginning, but that can't be the case because her reaction was so genuine. Her reaction was so honest. And then the last bit in black and white. The last bit where she says, I could have picked any card and I picked that fucking card. Isn't it amazing that your spectator, when having a talking head done on her, decides to actually say the name of the trick in her endorsement of the trick that you've just showed her. No, no, this trailer's not fake as balls at all, is it? At the end, you have all these little bits and pieces that say you can do it in a lot of different ways, including virtual performances. Although, to be honest, I don't remember seeing any virtual performances on the tutorial, but whatever. This is a decent idea. This is a half-decent idea that could have been good if it wasn't for the bad routining, if it wasn't for the terribly made gimmick that will break in zip point two seconds, and if it wasn't for the Faker's Balls trailer. As it is, it's a good idea that's gone bad very quickly, and I would highly suggest doing anything else other than buying this trick. And as a side piece of advice to the lady on the trailer, please, please, for the love of God, take acting lessons. Try Janelle from L&L. She'll see you right.